Hey, I'm Pete with RC Car Action Magazine, and we are here today with the X-Max, the all-new truck from Traxxas. As you see by its size, this is not any kind of a vehicle we've seen before from Traxxas. At 30 inches long, 21 pounds, it is literally the biggest thing they've ever built. And as you can expect from Traxxas, there's a lot of innovation built into the X-Max, and it starts before you even get the body off. Instead of body clips, you've got this mechanical latch. You twist it to unlock it, and then you lift, and the body will come right off. Once the body is off, you can see you've got a very unique new chassis for Traxxas. It's kind of a unibody look, but it is very easy to work on. It's a module design. It's actually got three different levels to it for uh, strength and durability and ease of maintenance. And the front and rear suspensions can come off as complete assemblies. When you remove and install the assemblies, they're actually keyed to the chassis. They're indexed, so they kind of click in. That way you don't have to really wrestle with the truck to put the screws in or when you're taking it apart. Even with the screws out, the truck will hold itself together. You wouldn't drive it that way, but it makes it much easier to work on if you do want to take the truck apart. Uh, chassis layout-wise, you've got two batteries on either side of the electronics in the center. You can put in two 2S or two 3S batteries. Maximum performance, of course, on 3S, 40 plus miles an hour with two 3S power cell lipos on board. The trays are pretty neat. In addition to being very deep to make sure the batteries stay in the truck, you've got this trick hold-down system that does not have any body clips and stays with the truck when you open it. This does not come off. It stays with the truck so that uh, it's very easy to work with. I've got a big uh, 8,400 milliamp battery in, right he in there right now. I can put in an adapter if I want to do a lower profile battery. This just snaps on. And now I can put a 5,000 milliamp battery in there. And that's not going to budge. And the way that the uh, battery hold down is oriented, no matter how hard you flip or tumble the X-Max, the battery load is not going to be able to open up that strap. And yet it's very easy to get the battery packs in and out. As far as the power system, it's a brand new setup developed just for the X-Max with this kind of size and torque requirement. Trax has developed a new speed control and motor just for the vehicle. It's a VXL 6S, and as its name implies, it programs just like the XL5 and VXL motors you're, and uh, speed controls you're familiar with from Traxxas's 110 scale models. You've got a sport mode and a race mode as well as training mode, which will cut speed and power by 50%. So if you want to hand the X-Max over to a younger person, someone without as much experience, you can dial it down to 50% with training mode. It makes it a lot easier to control the big truck. Motor KV rating 1600, low, uh, low KV for plenty of torque to move this big rig around. Like I said, 40 plus miles an hour, so no shortage of performance from the stock power system. Trax has even developed a new servo just for the X-Max. 365 ounce inches of torque to turn these big tires. The servo is integrated into the chassis instead of the usual four screw arrangement. It's built directly into it. It's still a separate servo that can be replaced independently, but it's integrated into the chassis once it's assembled. Even the servo wire is hidden and goes directly into the receiver box, which is sealed, of course, and the truck does have waterproof electronics, including the servo. Uh, servo has a ball bearing supported output horn and that connects to a uh, dual bell crank system with integrated servo saver. So no matter what you get into with the X-Max, you're going to be able to steer through it and have plenty of torque to keep the truck pointing in the direction you want to go in. If you flip the truck over, you'll see that none of the drivetrain is exposed on this four wheel drive shaft driven system. And these front and rear skid plates are actual sacrificial parts. They don't hold any hinge pins, uh, the gearboxes don't bolt to them. They are really there just as skid plates. So if you tear them up, nothing's going to come apart with them. They can be replaced very easily. Purely sacrificial parts designed to take abuse and spare the rest of the truck from all the hits that the X-Max is sure to take. Big front and rear bumpers to also ward off impacts. And Traxxas even has a rubber insert. And you can see that in there. But there is a rubber insert between the bumper and the chassis to help blunt some of those forces when you do smack something with the X-Max. Giant wheels of tires, of course. You can see there's a 17 millimeter hex in there, which holds the wheel on, but the hex that's inside the wheel is actually a 24 millimeter to transfer all that torque. I've actually got one out of the truck right here, and this is a new design for Traxxas. You have a steel shaft, CV style joint, and you can see it's got a really big aluminum stub axle here. There's usually a clip that we've taken off already, so I can pull this splined 24 millimeter hex hub off, and you can see just how big that stub axle really is. You'll also note that the cross pin is, is uh, captured by the bearing in the hub carrier. So that can't come apart. There's no set screw to lose or loosen. Again, X-Max is designed to be as durable and rugged as possible, so you spend maximum time driving and minimum time or no time at the bench with it. Inside the truck, you'll find a supersized aluminum drive shaft. You've got splined interfaces. That also includes the outdrives on the differential. Here's a Revo differential for a size comparison compared to the X-Max differential. And instead of a cross pin and a set screw with a uh, exposed shaft, you've got this spline design here. And that gives a lot more surface area for the torque to be transferred and also eliminates the weak point of a hole or a cross pin. 
there's a three millimeter screw that secures the out drive, but there's no load on it. All the load is carried by these splines. And of course, the diffs are uh, sealed to hold silicone oil. You've got uh, X-rings and a silicone gasket. And that's a serious piece of bomb-proof differential. Steel gears, of course, extra heavy duty, as everything has to be for the X-Max. Drivetrain also includes a slipper clutch. This is a supersized design of uh, Traxxas' uh, slipper clutch, which includes veins on the back side to provide cooling. You've got a straight cut steel gear here. Everything's super heavy duty, including the spur gear itself, which is a one module or 25.4 pitch. You've got very coarse gears there to handle all that torque. In terms of suspension, you've got four wheel independent, as you'd expect for a monster truck. You've got these unique shock towers, but they're not really towers. They're more like extensions of the chassis that rise up to meet the shocks. Shocks themselves, you've got four, instead so of the usual eight for a T-Max or an E-Max. Each shock has this massive 20 millimeter body. It's just a really big shock, holds a ton of fluid, gives you that super plush Max style ride that we're all familiar with. Plenty of suspension travel, super smooth, just soaks up all kinds of uh, terrain and abuse. Shocks are threaded. You've got uh, threaded adjustment collars here, so it's easy to set your ride height. And they just ride incredible, as you'll see when we take it outside. Now, most of us will take the X-Max right out of the box and go directly off-road with it. But if you do want to change up the gearing, Traxxas makes that very easy. The motor is mounted in a cradle that is um, indexed to the chassis with pins. By moving the pins, you can preset the gear mesh for a number of different gearing options. You don't have to break out a piece of paper or scooch the motor back and forth. It is set automatically just by moving the pins into the preset locations. When you take the motor out, there's even a decal right on the chassis that shows you where those pins go, whatever your pinion tooth count is. So it's extra easy to work on if you do want to mess with the gearing. Out of the box, the truck is good for over 40 miles an hour, so you probably won't be in a hurry for a gearing change, but if you want to gear it lower for more torque, or you want to fine tune it to the uh, location where you want to drive, Traxxas makes that extra easy. Another neat feature that we'll look at when we get outside is the self-riding feature for the X-Max. Uh, any other truck, you flip it over, you got to take a walk to kick it back over. And with a truck this big and fast, that's a pretty long walk. So what Trax has developed is a self-writing system where from the transmitter, you can hold the set button down and the truck will actually write itself using the inertia in the wheels, which is a lot easier to show you than to explain to you, so we'll go outside and check it out. Probably the X-Max's best party trick is its self-writing feature. Unlike any other truck, if the X-Max is rolled over, it can turn itself back onto all four wheels. So instead of taking that walk of shame to put it back on all four tires, just hit the set button and the X-Max will turn itself back over. Let's check it out right now. With the TSM off, the truck is just super stable. There's just so much weight and so much mass pressing it to the ground. Now, if you remember the first time you saw a T-Max in action, it was probably all about that suspension. With the X-Max, it's the same thing. You just got so much suspension travel, it just absorbs everything. So that's our first look at the all-new Traxxas X-Max. In a nutshell, it is big, fast, fun, and tough, and now pretty muddy after this run. You can read all about it in the January issue of RC Car Action, and make sure you check it out for yourself at your local hobby store, because you really got to see it to believe it. For RC Car Action, I'm Pete, and I will see you next time. Wow, wow.